Uh, good morning. Uh, today I want to go back to the right drivers that uh, I talked about earlier that, you know, we're going to make decisions and, and vet our decisions based upon does it build capacity with our professional staff, does it add to the collaboration of our professional staff's opportunities, uh, does it focus on instruction over just technology, and finally does it create a foundation for, for top work, strong professional practice, systemness. But let's start with um, what I think that if you s go to enough professional developments in education, um, a story, and how that story really transcends to the notion of where we need to go. And the story is about an individual walking on a beach, and it's the tides just come back out, and there are 10,000 starfish on the beach. And the individual looks at the starfish and starts throwing one by one of the starfish back into the ocean. Another person comes up to the individual and says, there's no way you can save them all. And the individual says, yeah, but it means a lot to the ones I do save. And that's always been related to education is, is you know, we have outstanding teachers such as yourselves, outstanding uh, paraprofessionals such as yourselves, administrators, um, our custodial staff, and we all do the good work individually. The problem is, is that we do save our young people, but not enough because we don't act um, as as a collaborative professional group, because often the system stops us from doing that. That you know our day can be fragmented. We don't get to talk to our colleagues, and for me, that collaboration with other professionals was profound as I began my educational career. I was a first year teacher in Longview, Washington, and I was handed the keys to the classroom and some books, and then the principal said, "Go teach," and I didn't see him. Uh, for a very long time. But thankfully, uh, Jeannie, who was a, a career professional, a master teacher, uh, who was upstairs, came down and said, you know what, I would be happy to help you. And in fact, you know, I think we could really support our students together if we collaborated. And I had such a profound experience of learning from her, uh, understanding what professional work was, and understanding the importance that that working together, how we just don't impact my students or her students, but we had impacted two classrooms. Then another teacher joined us, it was three classrooms. And we started doing flex grouping and, and using formative assessments, and this was back in the early 90s. So this, those practices have been around for a long time, we just haven't had the opportunity to talk and professionally dialogue together. We're gonna have a big emphasis on professional learning communities, and many of you are a part of those. But sadly in education, often those professional learning committees don't get what we want done because uh, we don't have people like uh, Jeannie who kind of sets the stage and, and creates that focus. As we move forward, you know, we're going we're gonna to use your talents. We're going to ask you to do the good work, ask you to pick up those scar starfish, but we're going to do it together. So um, our next stage you know, in our development is, is creating a strategic plan that does allow you more opportunities for collaborate with other professionals to impact um, not just the, the wonderful students you have, but students across the school and then across the district. So enjoy the upcoming weather. It's going to be raining. Uh, and if you want to know what I experienced going through high school, this is it. I was in Portland, Oregon, and it rained all the time. Uh, have a great rest of the day, and thank you.